think we should discuss that sort of thing after we've reached our destination. <laughs> what? Oh, I love you. Sounds like I love you. <laughs> Pretty good joke. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, joke. It's a palm tree. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. Good to have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Aye, Captain. Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Eh, well, uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget. Before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right, we need a plastic pair, got it. <laughs> Mermaids. Pirate like yourself? Afraid of a little of the cave like me? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud of the Kalian merfolk. Tail kinda gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen, with silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber. Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Ever hear of a man named Dakaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean crazy sponge guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Roe Island. Cool raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chief in Beluga and the Royal Chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There is a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innings and tear those to pieces Look at you overgrown tadpole. Please, calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine! Guybrush! Oh, Guybrush, thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pops you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! 
What hand? What exactly? What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh -oh. Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, I'd better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one that I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guy Brush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? Arr, it's me, Guy Brush Threepwood. Why did I... Shut up, you. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. We agree to disagree? This is pointless. How about a compromise? Last Punja Grande will not be given to these vile hands. Well, do you shut up? I want them all. You shall never have them. Okay. Let's start again. We need Lice Punja Grande more than you. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can I just say so? Oh, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pox. Yeah. And these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of a cure, but they won't give it up. We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicuddy. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you and Chieftain Baluga can come to some kind of agreement. What's this about a cure? The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak up voodoo energy. La Sponja Grande. Yes, but to find the Sponja Grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Aye, and that's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand over the rest. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Uh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are come behind, and the ceremony of the two words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. What are these legendary sea creatures? Though I have never seen them, the prophecies say they are a physical representation of the ocean gods on Earth, and that they will lead the way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? Enough of this! The only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm gonna shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifacts! I'm sure we can come up with a slightly less grisly approach if we try. Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vakalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catch of the day come supper! I thought you guys worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. I noticed a cool wreck down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Here you go, honey. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support the economy, you know. All right. Thanks, Lady Poop. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. Oh, sorry, Lady Poop. Have any of you ever heard of Coronado de Cava? I was told to look for him here and show him a locket. I do remember this man. He, too, is obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. But I have not seen him around Spinner Cay for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. If you gave him the summoning items, I swear I've got every one of you! 
No one is cutting anyone. We can work this out peacefully. <laughs> 